Gabriel so looks like James Cameron he's finally speaking out about this accident just happened uh, this in Titans and all these people on board who died because of this accident looks like he's finally talking about that I think the last couple of days I saw many people were wondering where is uh, James Cameron why is he not saying something because end of the day he he's down like he went down to see Titanic many times like with his own submarine. So let's check this out. What is he saying in this interview? Well, I've been down there many times. I know the wreck site very well, as, as does my friend uh, Bob Ballard. I've been made 33 dives. I actually calculated that I've spent more time on the ship than the captain did oh. back in the day. Um, and of course, uh, you know, as a submersible designer myself, I designed and built a sub to go to the deepest place in the ocean, three times deeper than Titanic. So I understand the, the engineering problems associated with, with building this type of type of vehicle and all the safety protocols that you have to go through. And uh, I think the, that what Bob said, because I was watching, uh, is absolutely critical for people to to really get the, the, the take home message from this, from, from our effort here, is s deep submergence diving is a mature art from the early 60s where there were you know a few accidents nobody was killed in the in the deep submergence until now is more time than between kitty hawk and the lot and the, the flight of the first 747 so if we haven't improved over that period of time and you know we, we have improved drastically over that period of time and uh, the the uh, certification protocols that all other deep submergence vehicles except this one that carry passengers, especially paying passengers, all over the world in tropical waters, uh, deep coral reefs, other wreck sites, and so on. Um, the the safety record is is the gold standard. Absolutely, not only no fatalities, but no major incidents requiring all of these assets to converge to a site. Of course, that's the nightmare that we've all lived yeah. with. That's the robot. You know, since uh, since all of us entered this this um, this field of deep exploration we live with it in the back of our minds but because implosion as bob described it such a violent event um is first and foremost in our minds the pressure boundary which is what they call the the hull of the sub that the people go inside is obviously first and foremost in our minds as engineers and we spend so much time and energy on that and we use all the computerized tools available today finite element analysis uh, we worked on our sphere for our for our deep deep vehicle that went to the challenger deep for over three years just in the computer oh. before we even made the thing and then of course we we pressure tested it over and over and over uh, and so on. Because you have so, to do the testing. You know, this is a mature art, and many people in the community were very concerned about this sub, and a number of of uh, you know of the top players in the in the uh, deep submergence engineering community even wrote letters to the company, saying that what they were doing was too experimental to carry passengers, and that needed to be certified, and and so on. So I'm I'm struck by. The similarity of the Titanic yeah, disaster itself, it's so true. where the captain was repeatedly warned about ice ahead of his ship, and yet he steamed at full speed into an ice field on a moonless yeah. night, and many people died as a result. And for a very similar tragedy where warnings went unheeded to take place at the same exact site, with all the diving that's going on all around the world, uh, I, I think it's just astonishing. It's really quite surreal. And of course, P.H. PH Nargile, uh, the French legendary submersible dive uh, pilot, a friend of mine, you know, it's a very small community. I've known P.H. for 25 years. Uh, for him to have died tragically in this way is, is almost impossible for me to process. Yeah, it's really uh, sad for me too when I think about this because this is like really crazy. Uh, this is really great interview. You can check out the full interview. It is on ABC. Uh, I just wanted to check this out because I, I, I was like, I saw many people were wondering where is James Cameron. He would know a lot about this. Like as this 
interviewer pointed out he been to this uh, like titanic wreckage he'd been there three times also he been to mariana trench the deepest part of the ocean so he knows what is he talking uh obviously i guess he was just uh, quietly watching the whole thing finally he's speaking out on this uh, this like the incident like these people's so life is lost i feel really sad every time i think about it uh, especially the guy who built this thing he never tested and he never bothered to do any testing because he was afraid his thing would get shut down i think he just wanted to make money now he is dead so it's four other people especially two of these people like the ph guy he's as he said he's a legendary uh pilot he been there many times it's really sad he died this time and also the guy who is Hamesh Hardin he's also like been to Mariana Trench even deepest part of the ocean it's really sad now he died and going to the Titanic which is not as deep as Mariana Trench uh, like whole point of this thing is like they need to be testing like if this like this sub uh, kind of sites this submarine can take the water pressure is really important to do all the testing he tried to bypass that i feel so sad every time i think it i haven't slept last two days thinking about these people might be stuck under the bottom of the ocean uh now that this morning i guess uh, they clear out these people are dead like they did die quickly so i do feel a little bit i guess uh like relief these people didn't suffer uh but still i'm really sad by this event uh let me know in the comment what do you think about this interview this guy is really he's, he's not just the director of this movie he knows a lot of stuff and this event has shook in the whole world let me know in the comment how you feel about this if you enjoyed about this reaction don't watch your other reaction if you enjoyed this please subscribe until i see you next time please take